गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इट इज ट्वेल्थ फिजिक्स सेप्टेम्बर सिक्स लेक्चर नंबर टू इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इमोशनल ई एम एफ रिमेनिंग पार्ट ऑफ लेक्चर नंबर वन इफ यू आर नॉट सीन द लेक्चर नंबर वन देन फर्स्ट सी द लेक्चर नंबर वन आफ्टर दैट सी दिस लेक्चर एक्सेप्ट दिस दैट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द ईडी करेंट्स In previous lecture, we discussed about the loop which was moving in a magnetic field, which was moving out of the magnetic field, and we calculated the magnitude of the induced EMF. Now there is one more method to calculate that. In this side, there are electrons. This side is moving in this direction. so electrons are experiencing force magnetic force magnetic force is given by evb and for positive charge the direction will be upward but these are electrons so direction will be downward so lower end will be negatively charged upper one will be positively charged so due to this redistribution of the charge that is electrons will come in downward direction so there will be excess of electrons and in this side you can say there will be deficiency of the electrons so that will be positive this one will be negative so electric field will be set up between these two and direction of electric field will be from positive to negative like this now due to magnetic force electron is experiencing force evb in downward direction and electron is a negatively charged particle so due to this field it will experience force towards this positive charge that is in upward direction and force due to electric field is given by electric field multiplied by charge and this force will be downward as long as downward for, uh, sorry this that force will be upward as long as downward force will be more electrons will experience force in downward direction so you can say further redistrib uh, redistribution of the charge will take place when these two forces will become equal that is downward and upward in that case electrons will not experience any force so you can say that will be the saturation value of electric field so at that point electrons will not experience any force in downward direction so that will be the maximum value of the electric field or you can say these two forces will be equal so equate these two forces so electric field will be this e will be cancelled electric field will be equal to vb it means we know the electric field between a and b and this length is l so what will be the potential difference between a and b potential difference is electric field multiplied by length so potential difference will be vb into l or you can say blv so that will be potential difference or potential developed due to this motion and in previous lecture as well we calculated the potential difference or induced emf using another method method and result was same so that much will be the induced emf now we will take next case emf in a road rotating in external magnetic field there is external magnetic field this is a road this and it can rotate on this end you can say this is axis of rotation and it can rotate in this magnetic field this is the external magnetic field in this case it is perpendicular to plane of the paper and entering in the plane of the paper this road is rotating like this with some angular velocity omega which is constant so first question is why emf will be induced why there will be induced emf in this road and if there will be induced emf then which terminal will be positive which one will be negative now in this road there are electrons these are moving in this direction so these electrons will experience force so if i apply palm rule my fingers are giving direction of magnetic field thumb is giving direction of the motion so palm will give direction of force for positive charge but electrons are negatively charged so they will experience force in upward direction so this end will become negatively charged and this end will become 
positively charged. I repeat. Direction of motion, fingers direction of magnetic field, thumb direction of motion, palm will give direction of the force for positive charge. But electrons are negatively charged, so electrons will experience force towards A. So top end will become negatively charged and A on which it is rotating uh, and B on which it is rotating will become positively charged. So that will be the polarity, positive and negative. And it is rotating like this. Now, how much will be the magnitude of this induced EMF? In this road, we will take a small length dx, which is at a distance x. This distance is x. And total length of this road is L. From here to here, it is L. L is the total length of this road. It is rotating on this axis. This is sense of rotation angular velocity omega, this magnetic field, external magnetic field is B. Now we want to calculate what will be the potential difference or EMF induced between terminal A and B. Naturally B will be at higher potential. We know that E is equal to B L V. In this case, due to this small strip dx, DE will be B Magnetic field, length dx, V, B, L, V. So that will be induced EMF due to this dx strip. But we know that V is equal to omega x, V is equal to omega r. Here radius, what is radius? It is x. For this dx element, radius is x. So it will be V omega x. So we will substitute the value, dE will be equal to B omega x dx, V is equal to omega x. Now we will integrate both sides. Limits are 0 to L. X varies from 0 to L. At this point X is 0, at this point it is L. So X is varying from 0 to L. So it will be equal to B omega x square by 2. Limits are 0 to L. Now we will substitute the limits. So it will become half b omega l square. So if a road is rotating on its axis with angular velocity omega, then magnitude of the induced EMF will be equal to half b omega l square. Now we will find out how much power will be dissipated? In the first case, when this loop was moving in this direction, at that time, how much power was dissipated or how much power will be required by this external source to move this loop? So we will calculate that part. We know I is equal to E by R. EMF upon R is the resistance. So it will be equal to B L V by R because induced EMF is B L V. How much force will be required? We know force acting on that wire will be equal to I L B. So substitute the value of I, it will be B L V upon R into L B, so it will be B square L square V by R. That much force will be required on the wire to move that loop. And how much power? We know power is equal to F into V. So it will be B square L square V by R into V. So it will be equal to B square L square V square by R. That much power will be required to move that loop or you can say that much power will be dissipated in form of heat. There is one more procedure. We know power is equal to Vi. V is BLV and I is BLV by R. So it will be equal to B square L square V square by R. That much power will be dissipated in this process. Now we will find out relation between change in magnetic flux, change in charge and resistance. 
we know that E is equal to IR. What is E? Rate of change of flux. Change in flux upon change in time. That is induced EMF. I am taking only magnitude. I am not taking sign. I am neg uh, neglecting that negative sign. So change in flux upon change in time. Current change in, uh, you can say rate of flow of charge. Delta Q upon delta T. Delta Q charge is flowing in delta T time. R is the resistance. So from this equation, if I simplify, then delta Q will be equal to, or you can say change in charge will be equal to change in flux divided by R. So this gives the relation between change in current to change in flux and resistance of the loop. Next topic is ED currents. ED word is from uh, word idiot. So ED current, what are ED currents? Suppose there is a conducting sheet and it is placed in varying magnetic field. So there will be change in flux because magnetic field is varying so there will be change in flux. Due to change in flux there will be induced EMF. Due to that induced EMF there will be current. So loops of current will be formed. Actually this current is not going anywhere. Only these loops are formed. These currents loops are behaving like EDS. So due to that reason it is called ED current. So these, this is the ED current. So due to that there will be loss of the energy. Because there will be heating effect. Heating effect is equal to I square R. And because it is a conductor, so resistance is negligible, so huge amount of current will flow. So I square, so loss of heat will be very, very large in this case. So if there is a change in the magnetic flux in bulk piece of conductor, then current is produced in them. So current will be produced in this, and this current is called ED current. There are some uses and uh, some advantages you can say and some disadvantages. Disadvantages, there will be loss of the energy. Advantage. It can be used as magnetic brakes, it can be used as induction fences and uh, it can be used in a deadbeat gallometers as well. Due to huge amount of current, there will be heating effect, I square R. So there will be heating effect. Due to this heating effect, it uh, can be used as electric fans because there will be heating effect. Now how it can be used in reducing the speed? Suppose this is the seat. It is attached here and it is vibrating like this. And magnetic field is only in this region. Only in this region there is a magnetic field. So what will happen? It will vibrate like this. When it will come in this side, it will enter in this magnetic field. So flux will tend to increase, so that induced current will tend to decrease that magnetic flux. This flux is in out, uh, sorry, inward, so due to this it should be inward, uh, due to this it should be outward. This magnetic field is inward, this magnetic field is inward, the seat is entering in this magnetic field, so there will be increase in the flux, so this induced current should tend to decrease that flux. That is. Magnetic field should be outward due to that induced current. So that will be direction of the current. Magnetic field outward, so that will be direction of the current. So when it will enter in this, that will be direction of the current. And one more reasoning, it is moving in the side. So what is the cause? The sheet is moving in the side. So that induced current will tend to oppose that. So it will oppose this motion. Similarly, when it moves away, flux will decrease. 
it is the seat is going out of the magnetic field so flux will decrease so that induced current will tend to increase that flux it means due to this current magnetic field should be inward only then it can increase so what will direction magnetic field inward then that will be direction of the current so current will be like this it is going away so it will tend to decrease that speed so in the both the cases whether it is entering in it or when it is moving away in the both the cases due to this effect ed current effect it tends to decrease this speed and it can be this property can be used as in dead beat galometers or in form of brakes as well now how to reduce the ed current losses if we cut this sheet in form of e now loops will not be formed its thickness should also should also be very less so loops will not be formed so by cutting the sheet in form of e and after that we can laminate that by lamination of these sheets so by laminating these sheets first we will cut that metallic sheet in form of e then we will laminate these sheets using this procedure we can reduce the ed current effect thank you